Today, we are finding out who the best CPU is in Smash Bros. Now, I did this quite a while ago, like a year and a half ago. Now the game is finished, it's complete, every DLC is out, and whatever programming coding they have done to the computers to make them better or worse, it's all completed. So, I thought we should give this tournament another go, find out who is now the best CPU in Smash Bros. I have written out every single character in the game. Now, Byleth was the winner last time, if you guys remember. Byleth is the reigning champion. There's a new up-and-coming challenger on the block, Kazia. People are going mad for Kazia. They think he's going to kill everybody. But today, we're going to find out the truth. Who is the best Smash Bros. CPU? All right, this is round one. Round one is going to be five people playing at a time, kind of like a pool situation, just to get the noobs out of here. We don't have time to wait around for these guys, so the best is going to win. I want Donkey Kong to move on. I'm a big Donkey Kong fan. Doc's off stage right now. The Greninja Gimp. Oh, my God. He's down to his last dock already. Marth. Oh, my God. And a bit of disrespect from the Ice Climbers here. A bit of showboating. They've got such a huge lead, and they're getting kills. Just, just for the fun of it. Sopo right now hanging on. Got a ledge trap situation. Takes out Greninja. Oh, Greninja knocks him off stage. He's gone. Ice Climbers versus Greninja. Oh, what a read. Catches it. And that is enough. Greninja is moving on to the next phase. Wolf is gone. No, my boy. Now, Ryu has a huge mountain to climb here. And he's just got to climb it with his bare fist. And the mountain has swords. 80%. He's going off stage. He's been sword stalled. As me, sword fighter, moves on. Oh, and Isabel with a clean win there. She was looking very, very strong in the 1v1. This is huge. Here we go. Now, this is a huge round for Kazia. We all know he's pretty good at the 1v1s. But can he survive the, the menace of these free-for-all pulls? Oh, Kazia's been sniped off the side. Villager came straight back and got him. Everyone's on last dock at the moment. It's a close one. All right, Zelda's gone. The tree, though. Kazia's got to be careful of this. He is winning. The favorite takes out another. Now it's just Villager and Kazia. Is the new up and coming going to take the lead? Or are they going to get edge guarded? No, he's back. He's back. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. <gasps> Gets caught though. He got red. He got red. Villager takes him out. And that is a huge upset. Now, we have the defending reigning champion. Byleth here. We'll see if they've held up. Ooh. Oh, and Byleth, the reigning champion, still looking very, very good. Oh, my God. Yep, King Dedede's already out. Everyone else is on one stock. Byleth at the lowest percent and with an extra stock. This, You guys don't know. These Byleth CPUs are crazy. Oh, of course it is. The reigning champ making it look easy. Moving on to the next round. Mega Man is still hanging on at 209. Anyone gets tickled, they're dead. Yeet! Mega Man moves on. <laughs> okay, I guess... I guess Pac Man moves on. Alright, I would think that Sora should be the best because of that. But we'll see what happens. Oh my god, and it looks like Sora's gonna win. It's Sora vs. Hero. I told you guys. I told you guys! <laughs> well... Damn. That's already me, Gunner, and me, Swordfighter, making it through. If Brawler makes it through, that's the me trifecta. Okay, yeah, no, I see, I see why he went for Sephiroth. He was crazy. Oh! <laughs> He's trying to bring a shot put to a rocket launcher fight. <laughs> Gets dunked on. Okay, it's Corrin and Min Min. It's all Corrin, baby, I told you. All right. We all know who I'm going for this round. I never was a fan of Puff anyway. Oh, let's go, baby. Come on, Ganon. All right, we are moving into eight-person free-for-alls for now. This round one is taking so long. We'll do this, and then if we need to, to keep it top 16, 
will have like a, uh, what's it called? Like a last chance qualifier. And like I said, the CPU meta is, is, is ahead of ours. So you got to think Sonic's going to win. And it happens. It happens. Luigi off stage. Luigi off the bloody top. He's sent to heaven. Falco moves on. Another ledge trap for Palu. And I mean for Piranha Plant. And that's going to be enough. Plant gang moves on. All right. We have the final round. But the only characters left that we haven't used yet is Daisy and Ness. So I think we add in four more characters to their round. Fan favorites, we'll chuck them back in. And this can be for the 16th spot. These four have been selected as fan favorites. They are going into the last chance qualifier. Let's see who makes top 16 and moves on to the 1v1 phase. Who's going to be the first to go? Oh, it's Donkey Kong. He gets spiked by Ouija. Diddy also falls. They're falling like flies. Kazzy is getting knocked down. He gets a huge tech though. He's back at it. You've got to think. They've got to try and team up. This Kazuya has been a force to reckon with. <gasps> the footstool. Luigi saves. Ness saves. They both did. Kazuya dead. And then Ness saved. And then Luigi saved. <gasps> what is this turn of events? Goes to the dash tackle shield. Luigi gets him off stage. Luigi fighting for the OGs here. Saying that this, this DLC can't stop him. Nair. Bear. Both weak. Gets the grab. Luigi's comboing him like there's no tomorrow. Luigi takes him out. Kazuya had two chances and he's gone. The OG standing the test of time. Luigi takes Kazuya off the side and moves on to top 16. That is a huge upset. You can see Kazuya. He's a bit disappointed there. Here we go. The first round of top 16, 1v1. The ex-champ, Byleth, the favorite by far, up against Pac-Man. Byleth is so good. Jab, the, the, just the straight jabs would have knocked Pac-Man onto stage. Byleth being aware of this. Pac-Man with an SD there, the, the pressure of going up against the champion, clearly, clearly getting to him right now. Oh my god, using the hydrant against him. Are you serious? Oh, and the spacing. That's so good. Luigi coming off that hot win up against Kazuya. Many thought would win the entire tournament. But me, Swordfighter, he didn't even need the last chance qualifier situation to make it through. Very, very comfortable. Using his noggin, getting the kill. Swordfighter got him off stage. This is good. Oh, no. Swordfighter moves on. Oh, okay. Okay, he's back in it. Sephiroth has, has the ledge trap here. And that's what he's good at. Nice catch. Sephiroth moves on. All right, the latest DLC. Up against Villager. Villager was the one who initially took out Kazia. Oh, that was brutal. Okay, nice little catch. Up tilt. Up air. Up air. It kills. Corrin's going to win the tournament, guys. That's MKLeo has already done this. Corrin's going to win. That is my prediction. Oh, off stage. Oh, the gimp. Yo, that was so sick. The back air into the up big gimp. The Greninja looks so good. He moves on. Okay, Ganondorf versus me, Gunner. You got to think people want the Ganondorf to win. But this has got to be a rough matchup. Ganon just needs one big hit and he's back in this match. It's dead even if he gets that. Woo! He's going. He's flying. Oh, going for the big reads. Look at the end of life already. That is the power of Ganondorf. Choke slam onto the ground. <gasps> oh my god. He's been shot in the face and he's dead. Gonna moves on. If you're the editor and you're editing this, just skip to the end of this match. Oh. Okay. Mega Man moves on. Yay. Woo. Okay. All right, guys. We are now. In top eight here. Byleth, Meat Sword, Fighter, Sephiroth, Sora, Koran, Greninja, Me Gunner, Mega Man. Let's just get this round over real quick. All right, Gunner moves on. All right, we have Koran and Greninja. We saw Greninja's incredible edge guarding in the last match, but as we've seen, Koran has been dominating off stage. Is he gonna look for the edge guards? He's teasing it, he's teasing it. Nice parry into the up smash. Greninja might, this might be a huge upset. No way. You can't fall apart in big moments like this. Place safe, gets the F smash. 
But even the F smash, that was a big swinging move. Whoever's chill will get the kill. This is dead even. Oh, the edge guard again! Up B into back air this time! The Greninja's edge guarding is so good. Takes out the Corrid and moves on. All right, here we have Sora and Sephiroth. Two DLCs who weren't in the last tournament have now made it into top eight. One of them guaranteed to move into round four. And this is a classic matchup. Sora and Sephiroth, guys. But Sora does have the latest programming. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Sephiroth is pissed. Sephiroth has been dominating everybody today. But I didn't think too much of it because he hadn't been versing very highly ranked opponents. Oh no. It's not good, is it? Oh! Sephiroth has been waiting to get his revenge. He has been studying the matchup. Byleth is the 82% to 18% favorite to win. This is to make top four. Swordfighter does start off with the early percent lead here. 29 to 0. 41. Look at this. They just stay underneath. Gets the catch. Oh my god. That's huge. One more stock. Swordfighter might do it. This might be the upset of the century here. Byleth gets a bit of an advantage state going though. This is big. This is what makes him the champ. The confidence. The, the ability to remain calm in high pressure situations. But they're remaining calm in this crazy situation. Gets a shield break. Is this going to kill? Not yet. Not yet. Stay calm. Byleth has to be very careful off stage. The sword fighter has been going out there every time. And if he gets one hit with that fair, it's all over. <gasps> oh, he clutched it. He clutched it, and that just shows the championship caliber of Byleth making such a comeback after a brutal start. Byleth moves in to top four. We are in top four right now. It is Greninja and Me Gunner, and Byleth versus Sephiroth. Let's start it off with Greninja versus Me Gunner. This is intense. Three stocks right now, now that we've moved on to semi-finals. And the fans are going wild for Greninja. They love the hype edge guards. Everyone wants to see Greninja win. Not many people want to see the gun. Oh, the gun looking for the spikes, but here's the go. The Greninja already looking for the edge guards. That's been his specialty all day, and he's sticking to it. Guys, I want to hear the crowd. Who are you going for? Greninja, Ninja, Frog, Greninja. The crowd's going wild for Greninja. Oh, but Greninja, in fact, gets edge guards themselves. That might be it. No, that recovery is so good. A spike! Oh my god! Gunner is being surprisingly aggressive. I've got to agree with that, though. The recovery is so good. He's doing up and He's falling. He doesn't know what to use. He needs a map if he's going to win this. He looks so lost. He's, he's fallen off. Greninja loses. And me, Gunner, moves on to grand finals. The previous champion up against the new DLC on the block. Sephiroth wasn't able to attend last tournament because he wasn't invented yet. Sephiroth has been looking very dominant with his last win over Sora. That was not even close. And so that might persuade a few people that he could take out the champ, but the champ ain't having none of it. Dude, what must my neighbors think of me? I can hear my neighbors in the backyard right now. It makes me feel a little bit uncomfortable. Anyways, a snipe, and Byleth is up three stocks to one. Ooh, boy. You know, people could say once you're the champ, sometimes your motivation might hold to you. You know, you got the prize money. You're living in luxury. But Byleth has shown that he has put in the effort, maintained the training, and he might even get a three stock in semifinals. No, he's not. He's not. He might not do that. Sephiroth, he wants to come back. He's got the one-winged angel, the comeback mechanic. He has a chance. And you know what's interesting? The semi-finals on the other side was auto also this brutal. Me Gunner dominated Greninja, and it's looking to be the same here. Just two characters who have been dominating their opponents, even in semi-finals, are most likely facing in grands, and they will. Byleth versus Me Gunner. All right, guys. It's time for grand finals. Let's check out the details on the votes. Byleth is the 66% favorite to win over Me Gunner. This is it. Every CPU has played against each other. These two have made it through semi-finals, even dominating their opponents. And we are about to find out who the best CPU in Smash Bros. Ultimate final patch is. This is it. Best of three. You can feel the tension. I've got goosebumps, man. This is intense. Byleth gets the up throw. He's off to a fantastic start. Up smash. The champ looking clean as always. 73, not 80. Oh my god. Zero to death. Are you serious? 
I mean, don't start it off grand with zero to death, man. Gunner's found a bit of composure there. You gotta be nervous up against the champ if it's your first time fighting them. Oh, our early stock for Byleth. Clean. Okay, me, Gunner. Playing it safe now with the charge shot. They've realized they can't go in and brawl with Byleth. The strategy is not gonna work. <laughs> that move still doesn't work. <laughs> oh my god. Oh! Gunner's back. Gunner's back in it. Guys, who do you want to see win? Oh! Byleth swinging hard there. Gunner's brought this all the way back, though. You've got to be impressed. It shows that they deserve to be here, but the initial the initial intensement of Grand might have got to them. But this is the best of three. Bylas is looking dominant game one. Oh my goodness gracious. He's playing it very safe, Bylas. Trying to find an opening. He's not rushing things, which I think is very smart when you have such a lead. Me, Gunner, with the catch, though. But you've got to think this is such a huge deficit. I don't know if Gunner can bring it back. They'll need something impeccable to start off here. <gasps> oh, falls out of the up air. But Bylas was ready. Wins game one. Oh my god, Bylas already looking for the down air. Game two, Bylas probably feeling confident. Up a game right now. We might see them get a bit crazy. Oh, 90% off stage. Could this be the first stock? Oh, it reversed. Oh my god. This is why it's grand. This is why these two are here. Back and forth. Bylas straight back at it. Great catch. Great reactions on the tech shape for me, Gunner. Looking to push this to a game three. They've got a huge lead. Playing it safe with the ledge trap. We'll see what they can get off it. Nice catch on the up smash. They've been landing these smash attacks all day. They've got a read on Byleth's movement at this point. This first stock is going to be a huge confident boost. And Byleth gets it. One more stock to become the double champ. Oh, the parry. The parry into a down smash of their own. This is why they're the champ. If they send a charge shot, it'll definitely kill. It'll definitely kill if they can land it. There it is. There it is. Last stocks. They're back. It's not over yet. They have, they've got a fighting chance right now. Oh! No fear. F smashes straight in Byleth's face. One more smash attack like that would definitely end it. A B into the down air. It's over, ladies and gentlemen. Byleth is the double champ of the CPU tournament running through the entire bracket. Not dropping a single goddamn game. Byleth remains the best CPU in Smash Bros. And that makes me think that MKLeo is going to win Genesis with Byleth. God damn right. Should I buy a Byleth? Okay, I'll buy a Byleth Amiibo. That could be the next Amiibo video.